So if you're running virtual machines in Azure, you probably get the question a lot, how can I basically reduce costs for that virtual machine? Now, we offer you a couple of different things and scenarios for that. So if your virtual machine doesn't really need to run 24 seven, one of the best things you can do is basically go out and shut it down. In that case, while the virtual machine is, is shut down, you don't pay for it. You only pay for the storage of that virtual machine. Now, if the virtual machine needs to run 24 seven, uh, there are other options you can go for it. So for example, if you commit for one or three years uh, to a specific virtual machine, you can use Azure reserved instances and they will give you a discount on these virtual machine prices. Now the great thing about it, which we launched recently is changing in the pricing. So before you needed to basically pay upfront for the year or the three years you committed to. Uh, now with the recent change, you still need to commit for to using that virtual machine for one or three years. However, you can pay a monthly fee for that. Now, another thing I recommend if you're running Windows Server is that you have a look at the Azure Hybrid Benefit, which look, enables you basically to take the advantages of Windows license you have used on-prem to virtual machines running in Azure. And the last thing I wanna really talk about is Azure Advisor. Azure Advisor is a tool which helps you to find out how can you optimize your Azure environment. And as part of that, it goes out and has a look at your virtual machines. And if they're underutilized, it will tell you that. So this enables you to basically say, okay, this virtual machine is a size with 16 gigs of memory, um, but we recommend that you go down in the size to eight gigs of memory because you don't use it.